cheeseburger. With french fries? Mm -hmm. <laughs> will Bert and Danny's plan really change Elaine? And if it does, what will she change into? Will Carol accept Jody's proposal? Will Tim blame himself for his mother's death forever? Or just for the rest of his life? What is Sally up to? And are either Bert or Danny up to what she's up to? Will Eunice ever spend another night with Dutch? And if so, will there be passion, desire, lust, or at least some nice refreshments? Has Jessica made the right decision to go ahead with Chester's operation? And if it doesn't work out, will she find happiness living with a codfish? These questions and many others will be answered on next week's episode of Soap. Soap is videotaped before a studio audience. Film on Four continues a series of first love with those glory, glory days. The story of four schoolgirls whose heroes are the Spurs football team. In the beginning, there was nothing but time. Then, there was Limit International. Limit International. A people who want more than just time. There's a farm called Jollity, believe me folks, it's great. For everything sings out to us as we go through the gate. All the little pigs, they grunt and howl. Grunt, howl! The cats meow. Meow! The dogs bow, wow. Ruff, ruff! Everybody makes a row down on Jollity Farm. For the kind of sleep you dream of, curl up with a slumber down quilt. In the future, less and less people will accept the endless drudgery of washing dishes by hand. More and more people will own an Indesit Series 2000 machine, already Britain's best-selling dishwasher. It washes everything efficiently, quietly, thoroughly, and afterwards dries with clean, warm air. The Indesit Series 2000 dishwasher, your future machine. of years, mankind has derived warmth and comfort from the living flame, now kept alive in the Valor Home Flame gas fire. Stylish, effective, a real living fire. Valor Home Flame, at your gas showroom now, from Valor, masters of the living flame. The very best music of the year, Chart Hits 83, number one KC, The Smash Hit from Toto, number one Men at Work, Smash Hit Ryan Paris, number one Paul Young. Even more hits, Chart Hits 83, number one Candy Girl, Smash Hits The Beat, The Rhythmics, The Fabulous Forest and The Thompson Twins. 30 Smash Hits, Chart Hits 83. The very best music of the year. Buy one, get one free. A gift from KTEL. Hello. I like this Remington Microscreen Rechargeable Shaver so much, I bought the company. It shaves as close as a blade, or I'll give you your money back. Remington has two microscreens. That's why it shaves me as close as my blade. The first microscreen shaves incredibly close. The second even closer. The Remington Microscreen Rechargeable Shaver shaves as close as a blade, or your money back. And the Lady Remington, the perfect gift, mains and battery models. There is an island on this earth so colorful, it is surely the work of a master painter.
Singapore, the most surprising tropical island on Earth. Open your eyes to the secrets of fragile Earth, Saturday at 8 on 4. You're watching Channel 4, and tonight's Film on 4 is something of an occasion, marking in a special way the partnership between television and the British film industry. Tonight's showing of Those Glory Glory Days on Channel 4 coincides with the film's cinema premiere on the opening day of the 27th London Film Festival. By way of a brief introduction, we cross south of the River Thames to join Chris Kelly for a couple of minutes at the National Film Theatre on the South Bank. No royals and no rented suits here at the NFT tonight, but there is a film worth seeing. Those Glory Glory Days is a happy choice to kick off the London Film Festival because it's about four girls' passion for a famous football team, Danny Blanchflower's magnificent Spurs of 1961, when they managed to pull off the double. And here is the famous four, which will be transformed any moment on your screen into those Spurs groupies. I'll be talking to them later on, and other stars of the film, as well as some of the people who made it, including executive producer David Putnam. Meanwhile, the fine focus of the girls' undying affections in those glory, glory days is on Danny Blanchflower himself. Danny, you once uh, declined to be on This Is Your Life, and yet here you are about to face a slice of your life, mm -hmm. and one in which you took part. Do you feel a little apprehensive? No, I, d I, I only vaguely know what it's about. Uh, and it, I don't really think it's about me alone. It's about the great Tottenham team in those days. Uh, I just represent them as their captain. I'm looking forward very much to hearing your reaction after it. Meanwhile, Julie Welsh wrote it. She's the only female football writer in the country, writes for The Observer, and you're writing more and more fiction. What gave you the title? Well, um, in those very, very early days of the 60s, uh, it, it, they, they were those glory, glory days. And the title comes from um, the song that supporters used to sing when Spurs went into Europe, when everybody used to burst into the song, uh, Glory, Glory, Alleluia. And um, in those days, I was a daft little girl of 12, and uh, Spurs were my first love.